I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish, Move, Love, and this is your 30-minute strength training workout. We have taken seven best strength training exercises and turned them into this 30-minute workout. You guys have loved this workout since it was published on the blog a while back, so now we're adding a full-length video, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Seven moves, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We do it three sets with the warm-up and the cool-down. We're going to round it out to 30 minutes. Let's get started with the warm-up. All you're going to need is a set of dumbbells. I have 12s and 10s with me so I can adjust and go back and forth. Grab whatever you have and let's do this. Let's get started with the warm-up, okay, you guys? So we're going to go feet shoulder width distance apart. Give me that big inhale. Reach up nice and tall. Squeeze that belly. Squeeze the butt. Just like to get things activated here. Give me that baby back bend. Open up the chest, shoulders. There you go. Bring it back together. Step the feet, ankles and knees to touch. You're going to go forward fold. Oh, hello, hamstrings. Open them up. Let the neck and shoulders fall. We're going to go crouch curl. So bend, extend, rise all the way back up top. Nice. Take it down. Forward fold. Fingertips touch the ground. Drop the hips. Come up onto the tiptoes. Set it back down. Rise up. Opening up everything. One more time. Crouch curl. Rise all the way back up to top. Feet go back to shoulder width distance apart and open it up. Chest and shoulders. Pedal the arms back. Soft bend in the knees. Core is tight. There we go. We're pedaling it back for four, three, two, one. Set it down into squats. Down and up. Down and up. Squats. We're going to do them right away. You guys know I love my squats. All right. Feet are shoulder width or a little bit wider. Knees are going out towards the pinky toes. Chest stays up. Range of motion is up to you. You can get a little bit deeper as we start to warm up. Just starting to get things moving here, right? Got to get that blood flowing. Get warmed up for a good strength training workout. I encourage you to grab heavy dumbbells here if you can. All right? You got four. Nice work. Three, two, and one. Stand up tall. This time you're going to swim towards me. Reverse those shoulder sweeps. Warm it up. Shoulders and squats. It's going to be our first move. We love it. We love it. Here we go. You got four. Three, two, one. Back to squats. This time add a butt kick. So squat. Kick your booty. Kick your booty. Kick your booty. There you go. Down and up. Squat butt kick. That's what we're doing. There you go. Picking up that tempo. Picking up that pace a little bit. Here we go. It's a squat and a butt kick. Open up those quads. You got four. Three, two, and one. Take it to the back of your mat. Hinge out. We're going to walk out to a high plank. So hinge forward, forward fold. Walk out, find that high plank. Step your right foot outside the right hand. Open arm twist. Set it back down. Walk the fingertips back in. Stand up tall, squeeze the butt. Right back down. You're going to walk out to that high plank. Step one foot outside the wrist. Open it up, easy twist. Set it back down. Plank, walk it back in. Nice little flow right here. It's going to help us open up the hips. It's going to warm up the shoulders, the core. Yes, you're getting it all right here, right? One of my favorite ways to warm up is right here. And you know that because it's probably in every workout you've done with me, right? But it's so good and it's so effective. Great way to warm it up. Okay, one more plank walkout and then you're going to hold that plank walkout. Hold your plank walkout. Take a nice wide base with your feet. Right here, just hold. Pull up on the kneecaps, push back on the heels, shift your weight forward, shoulders over wrist, shoulder tap, opposite hand, opposite shoulder for eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, one, knees or toes, push-ups, down, up, you got three, that's two, and three, push back down dog. You know what? You guys don't even have any push-ups in this workout. Holy cow, you are lucky, walk it back. No push-ups, we're just doing it to warm up the chest. Stand up tall. Nice. We're going to open up those hips with some lunges. Standing on my right leg, left leg. Lunge, sumo squat, lunge together. Stay on that same leg. Lunge, sumo, lunge together. Lunge, sumo, lunge together. There we go. You got the rhythm now, right? Staying low in the legs the entire time. Lunge, sumo, lunge. One more, here we go. Lunge, sumo, lunge, stand tall, tap it, tap it, option, jacket, jacket. A little bit of blood, Whew. get it flowing. It's strength training, but let me tell you, you have those heavy dumbbells, it's gonna raise your heart rate. You got four, three, two, one. Lunges, other side, lunge, sumo. Standing on the left leg, right leg goes back. Lunge, 
sumo, lunge, together. Woo, find that balance. Lunge, sumo, lunge, together. Nice, lunge, sumo, lunge. Woo, we're gonna do squats, lunges, sumo squats. You're gonna get it all right here. Yep, paired with upper body. Nice, one more, one more. Lunge, sumo, lunge, together. Check it out. You guys ready? Seven moves, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, total body. Every move is gonna hit multiple muscle groups. Legs and arms paired together. All right, you guys, I'm ready. I'm gonna start with my 12 pounds, okay? Your first move, front squat, so you bring them up. Elbows are up towards me. Front squat, shoulder press, squat and press. Your 45 seconds starts in three, two, let's go. Squat, push, inhale, exhale. Squat, push. Told you we were starting on legs and shoulders. Yes, down, up. Love this move. Like I said, this is strength, but man, it's gonna raise your heart rate. It's 45 seconds, so we're not counting reps. It's timed. If you wanna count your reps, go for it. You do you. The goal is to keep moving, no breaks. Yep, 10 seconds here. Come on, finish strong. Then you get a 15 second break. Let's go big exhale, push up, you got five. Four, three, two, give me one more. 15 seconds of rest for you. I'll show you move number two. Reverse lunge and bicep curl. Lunge, curl. Lunge, curl, alternating sides. You're on. Woo, three, two, let's go. Right leg, lunge, curl. Now the goal here, don't swing those weights. Step straight back, drop that back knee towards the mat or the ground. Stand up, curl. Core is tight. Lunge and curl. Okay, you got this, come on. Heavy dumbbells, 45 seconds, strength training. Gonna rain that heart rate. You guys, I get asked a lot. How do you talk and teach and do the moves? I'm using 12 pounds. If I was doing this at home, I'd be grabbing 15 pounds, okay? I go lighter when I'm teaching so I can talk to you and show you good form and keep all that good stuff going. Five seconds, let's go. Woo! Three, two, break. Sumo squat upright row, I'm gonna drop down. You can always adjust weights. Sumo squat, heels and toes out, right here. Squat, elbows high to the sky. Sumo, sumo squat, upright row. Whew. In three, two, let's go. Down, pull. So right here, keep those weights tight to the body. Whew. Keep the shoulders out of the ears, but you're pulling up. Right here, shoulder, upper back, legs, upper back, shoulders, upper back, shoulders. Whew. Exhale, pulls them up. Core stays tight. Come on, again, you can always slow this down. You got heavier weights, go slower. You decide, your workout, your tempo, 10 seconds. Yes, you can, right here. You're working, four, that break, it comes in five, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds of rest. Curtsy, L fly, bend your arms 90 degrees. Curtsy lunge, L fly. Whew. Hello, shoulders. Your shoulders and legs are gonna feel this workout. Step back in three, two, let's go. Curtsy, fly, L fly. So my arms stay bent at 90 degrees. This is taxing for those shoulders. I'll tell you right now, you can always do this with no dumbbells. You could alternate arms like that, lunge, alternate, okay? A lot of ways to do this. You can always drop your dumbbells. The goal, keep moving. Come on. Yes, you got this. Curtsy L fly, move number four. Four of seven, you're over halfway, 10 seconds. We're down on the ground. We're down on the ground after this plank and row. In three, two, one, 15 second break. I'm gonna go back to my 12 pounds. Plank and row. Take it down to the mat. Hold the high plank, alternating rows. 45 seconds. You can always take this from your knees or standing rows. You're on in three, two, let's go. Taking a nice wide base with my feet. 
keep my hips square and stable to the ground. Minimal movement is what I want to see from those hips. Elbow goes high to the sky, back towards the hips. Your options, drop to the knees, row. It's a great option, you guys, okay? Keep those shoulders stacked over those wrists. If you're like, that just still doesn't feel good for my wrist, you take it up to standing and you do a bent over row. Another great option, especially for my expecting mamas, okay? You got this, come on. 15 seconds here. Back to plank and row, let's go. You're on your beautiful backside for the last two moves. Finish right here, core, back. Core and back. Shoulders are involved too. You got four, three, two, one. All the way down, over on your backside. Glute bridge, tricep extensions. Yes, one of my favorites. Always has been, always will be. Right here, bend, extend, and bridge. Bend and bridge, you're on in three, two, let's go. Hover the hips, push high. Bend at the elbows, push. Hover, push. When I say hover, those weights are hovering above your forehead, okay? The glutes are hovering off the mat. Never let your butt hit the mat. It takes the tension off. Keep constant tension on those glutes and hamstrings. Like I said, we're hitting every muscle group, right? In an effective way. Triceps, butt, and hammies right here. You're getting it all. <sighs> Exhale to lift it up. Hover. Press. 10 seconds. You got this, you guys. Yes, you can. One more move after this. Come on, three, two, one. You're in a hold that glute bridge. Stay on it. Hello. Palms face out away from you. Chest press. Okay, while you're holding the glute bridge. Chest press while you're holding the glute bridge. You get five seconds, and then you're on. Set it up. Lift those hips. Arms are goal posted. You're on in three, two, let's go. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Now with those legs, let's talk about the legs first. Can you think about one of those Pilates sponge balls? Think about squeezing that. Don't let your knees fall open. Keep it tight, okay? My hips are lifted. My heels are digging into the mat. I'm keeping the knees in. Upper body, right here. Right down, chest in line. The weights stay in line with my nipples. Down, exhale, push. Again, try not to let the back of your arms hit the mat. If you get a stability ball, a bench, you can get a little bit more range of motion. Right here, holding those glutes and hammies after those glute bridges, so they should be on fire. Adding the chest press. You got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, my new favorite workout. The chest is a chest press and not push-ups. <laughs> what do you think? Grab some water. You have a one-minute rest to recover, and then we're going to repeat that two more times. Okay? Those are your seven moves. Now you know what's coming. So you can adjust weights as you need to. Okay? You're going to do that two more times through. The goal is to hit muscle failure on that third set. So you do what you got to do to get there. Maybe you up the weights. Maybe you down them. Maybe you go body weight, you do you. One minute to recover here, whew, got 30 seconds left. And then we're right back to the top. Front squat, shoulder press, okay? Seven big full body moves, strength training, you guys, it's so important for women, okay? You know why it's important for women? I'm gonna talk you through that as we go through these exercises. 10 seconds of rest, pick up those dumbbells, front rack them, squat and press. You're there in five, whew. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width, three, Two, let's go. Squat and push. Inhale down, exhale, press. Lock it out. Lock out those elbows. <sighs> exhale. At the top, squeeze the butt. Drive the weights overhead. Okay, strength training. It's important because we start losing muscle mass. I know it's really sad. At 30, oh my gosh, I'm losing muscle mass, right? <sighs> you gotta keep building it so we don't lose it. All right, helps you stay strong, keeps that metabolism fired up. People that are pregnant, we got a lot of pregnant women around here. Strength training is the name of the game for you, mamas. Whew. Keep going, 10 seconds here. 10 seconds, yes you can, finish it. Come on, it's five, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds of rest, alternating reverse lunge and curl. Set the weights down, roll out the wrist, lunge and curl, that's where we go. Alternating reverse lunge and a bicep curl. Whew. You're there in three. Two, let's go. These moves are the basic stuff, you guys, but they work. Basic exercises that work. Now, this workout I originally filmed when I was pregnant. Now we're reshooting it and giving you a full-length video, but I'll tell you why I shot it when I was pregnant. 
Because strength training is the name of the game, mamas. You know why? If you're going to have a baby, you're naturally going to put on weight. Weight gain is a part of pregnancy. Ultimately, if you stop lifting, you will be your weakest when you are at your heaviest. That's where the back pain comes in and all those pregnancy ailments. You want to stay strong, mama. Come on, you got five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sumo squat upright row. I'm going to swap out for my tens. You do you. Okay, you got to stay strong. I don't know about you. My two deliveries, hardest workouts of my life. Both babies. Sumo squat upright row in three, two, let's go. Knees track out towards the pinky toe, elbows high to the sky. Keep the weights close to your body, right? Not coming up, overextending the shoulder, just to where it feels comfortable for you. You got this. Keep that chest up. Nice work. Awesome job, you guys. And then let's talk about postpartum. That's where I am. Yeah, seven months postpartum right now. Baby number two and strength training. You guys, carrying those babies around in baby carriers, lifting car seats. I have a 40-pound three-year-old, and uh, I don't even know how much she weighs. Seven-month-old. Tough stuff. Come on, five seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. You're out. Whew. Plank and row. Or no, curtsy, I'll fly. I'm sorry. Legs, arms go at 90 degrees. Whew. Curtsy, I'll fly. Stick with my 10 pounds because this one is tough for those shoulders. All right, curtsy, I'll fly. In three, two, let's go. Curtsy lunge, right up to shoulder height. Curtsy, shoulder height. Come on. Yep. Feel that heart rate rise in? I do. 15 seconds, not a big rest. We're going from one move pretty much to the next. Short little transition. That's what's going to raise your heart rate. Right? Keep breathing, keep moving. You got this. Woo! You guys are so awesome. Come on, 15 seconds here. This is one where I watch the clock because it burns, right? We are staying true to time here, 10 seconds, because my shoulders, they're on fire. You got this, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, back in my 12 pounds. Plank and row, plank and row. Woo, down the ground. Remember, you can always kneel. You can always take it upright, standing bent over row. Okay, hair slick back. You are on in three, two, one. I thought about this the other day, you guys, and I've decided this might be probably one of the most controversial things I'll say on here. I don't trust people who work out with their hair down. I see people filming workout videos with their hair down, and I'm like, how in the bananas do you do that? Right? Uh, that hair's got to be slicked back out of the way. Whew. Plank and row. Here we go. Hips are square to the ground. Pull that elbow high to the sky, back towards your hip. Keep those shoulders stacked over the wrist. So many cues when you're in plank because every muscle in your body is working for you right now. They're working for you. Come on, you got five seconds. Show me what you got. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful backside. We take it over. Glute bridge triceps. This is my mic packed to my hip here. Woo, all right. Glute bridge triceps. You're on in five. Let's go. Three, two, let's go. Hover and push. Hover and push. Come on. Hover and push. You got this. Drop those weights towards the forehead. Just bending at the elbows. Shoot it straight back up. Triceps, that's the back of the arm. Your shoulder's working to stabilize you. And we got glutes and hammies. And those abduct adductors, which are your inner thighs, they're working too if you're keeping those knees nice and tight, right? So many muscles again, you guys, so many muscles. That's why we called this the seven best strength training exercises for women originally. And now we're giving you a 30 minute workout so you can do it with me, because that's the motivation. Come on, three, two, one. That's why we're adding these full length workout videos. Motivation to keep going, to finish every rep, to push yourself. That's what I'm here to do for you, and that's what you're doing for me right now. Okay. Hold that glute bridge, chest press, arms are out, hips are lifted, squeeze it and press in three, two, let's go, push. Keep those dumbbells right in line with the nipples, it's a really good cue, it helps me keep that chest puffed out, keep the chin off the chest, Whew. exhale, push up. Don't forget about that red Pilates sponge ball in between your knees, 
Keep it tight, you guys. Come on. Get that one minute break. It's coming after this. You've got those heavy dumbbells. You're finishing round number two of this workout. Yes, you are. Round number two right here. You're cranking through it. Come on, 15 seconds here. 15 seconds, you should feel that chest. You should feel those glutes. They should all be working for you. Yes, you can. Let's go. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Seven moves. Again, knocked it out. Grab some water. You're on that recovery, that one minute rest. And we do this one more time. Seven moves, one more time. And a cool down. 30 minutes strength training. Efficiency, you guys. Every muscle group. I know some of you guys are like me and you love those heart pumping workouts. Strength and cardio, you're hitting it hard. But you can't do that every day, okay? Can't do that every day. It's not good for you. It's not good for your joints. It's not good for your body. Strength training. Yes, that's good for you. No matter what level you're at, no matter what age you are, no matter what season of life, strength training is always good for you. Whew. Squat with a shoulder press. You guys, last time through this, seven moves. I need you to buy in. I need you to grab those heavy dumbbells one more time. Five seconds, pick them up, front rack them. Come on. Squat and press in three, two, let's go. Come on, you guys. Last time through this, seven moves, 45 seconds each, 15 seconds of rest. Last time you gotta do it. Yes, you can. Last time you're doing this move. I love repetition because it fatigues the muscles. You wanna be sore tomorrow. That's the goal, you guys. Come on, grab dumbbells that get you there. You got this. I like workouts that don't have repetition because they're fun for the mind, right? Keeps you moving. But this is true strength training. Strength training is working to fatigue. Woo! Let's go. You got this. Stay in it. Come on. What would it look like? Five seconds. Finish with me. Five, four, three, two, one more, one more. Nice. Reverse lunge, bicep curl. Reverse lunge and curl. Feels good to set them down. Shake it out in between. Five seconds. Lunge and curl. You're on in three, two, let's go. Reverse lunge, bicep curl. The temptation here is to swing those weights. Control it. Up and down. Okay? Up and down. Strength training is not about speed. This isn't a 30 second interval where you're going as hard as you can. It's controlling the movements. Slow and steady, heavy dumbbells. Next time you come back and do this workout, I want you to strive to pick up heavier dumbbells. That's the goal. Heavier, heavier. You're not gonna get bulky, I promise. Okay, you guys, you're gonna get stronger. Lean muscle mass. Lean muscle mass, that's what we're going for. Come on, five, four, three, two, Recover. Whew. Nice work. Sumo squat upright row. I'm switching them out. Sumo squat upright row. Whew, those 15 second breaks. You're on in three, two, let's go. Down, pull up, down. Whew. Come on, 45 seconds. Whew. Move number three. Whew. Getting there, crushing it. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Keep moving. Whew. All the way down, all the way up. Keep those weights tight. Pull up high. Exhale, use your breath to lift the weights. You got this. Those 15 second rests. They seem a lot shorter on this third set, don't they? Come on. You're doing so good. Stay with me. Yes, you can, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Done with this move. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one more. Weights are down. Curtsy L fly. <sighs> Curtsy L fly. The tough one, in my opinion, because those shoulders. Yep. Whew, you got five seconds. Picking up those weights. Let's go. Bend the arms. You're on in three, two, let's go. <sighs> Remember, you're always able to alternate, drop the weights, pick up soup cans, do what you got to do. You're going to feel your legs and shoulders. We're hitting it all every muscle in the body, but it's a little heavy on the legs and shoulders this workout. Yep. You got this, come on. Yes, keep chipping away, one rep at a time. It's all you're focusing on. 
45 seconds, break it down. One rep at a time. That's all I gotta focus on, 10 seconds. Let's do it. Woo! Last five, four, three, two, one, ha! Grab those heavy dumbbells again if you're with me. Plank and row, plank and row, you guys. Three moves left. Plank and row, and then you're on your backside for the glute bridges. Five seconds, let's go. You're on in three, two, one, row. Hips are square to the ground. You got this. Elbow high to the sky, back towards the hip. Constant core engagement. Back, core, shoulders again. <laughs> Come on. Woo! 45 seconds. Planks should be hard right now because they require every muscle in your body to work and every muscle in your body should be tired. Tired. That's what 30 minutes of strength training will do for you. Come on. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Stay in it. You got this. Woo, you're doing so good, you guys. Come on. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I'm talking to myself right now. Yes, you can. For three, two, one. Backside. Woo. Love to hear it. It's always fun to go from a plank exercise to your back. You're like, yep, I'll do it. Doesn't matter what it is. You want me to hold a glute bridge? I'll do it. Okay. Glute bridge triceps in three, two, let's go. Bend and push. Hover and press. Legs are right at 90 degrees. Glute bridges. I love them. I love them because you can always count on them. You guys, I get a lot of people that say, I got knee pain. I got joint pain. Squats and lunges, they can hurt. They hurt my knees. Glute bridges. They are your friend to train the glutes and to train the hammies. Okay? Low impact. You can do them with no equipment. Take them with you anywhere. Woo! Triceps and hamstrings. 10 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Finish it. Those triceps, they're shaking for the final five. Four, three, two. Give me one more for good measure. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay, like I said, I want you guys working to fatigue. I have 12 pounds. If I was at home, they'd be 15. You got to work to fatigue. Hold that glute bridge, chest press. You're there in three, two, let's go. Finish it, you guys. This is it. Last stinking move. Last move right here. Big exhale, push overhead. Big exhale, push. Come on. Chest, glutes, hammies for the final move. It's right here. Yes, you can. You can always take this up to a stability ball, especially if you're an expecting mama. Stability might feel better for you, okay? An incline bench can be even better. You got this. Come on, you guys, finish it with me. Come on. You're there. The home stretch, it should be burning. It's working. 10 seconds. Can you lift those hips just a little higher? Squeeze your butt. Yes, you can. Finish strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hips go down. Dumbbells are off to the side. That is Seven moves of pure strength training. You guys, grab some water and we're going to stretch it out. Cool it down. And I want you to stick with me for this. I know it's tempting to shut this off, especially if you've got little kids. You're like, I got my workout in. i got to go. I hear you, but stretching is so important, you guys, okay? Really, really important. Let's actually come down. Seated position. Pull one leg in towards your inner thigh. Other leg's going to go up and over and wrap around. Hello, that's a stretch right there. So hold here. If you can, grab the calf shin ankle area, and you're just going to pull that heel slightly off the ground. You're going to hit this outer glute. A lot of glutes, okay, especially if you're a runner, hitting those IT bands, those glutes. Stretching is so important. I know I've been working out at home throughout the quarantine, and I haven't been stretching nearly as much, and I feel it. I want to avoid injury. I want to keep moving, so I'm stretching a lot more, okay? Stay with me and stretch, and then you'll have your full 30 minutes. I'm even leaving time for stretching, you guys. I know, who is this? I'm getting old. <laughs> and switch it out. Some of my earlier workout videos, it's like, okay, move on, no stretching, no warm up. And now I'm like, I'm getting old. Okay, I've had two babies, my body's different. Stretching, warming up, those things are important. We have a five minute warm up on the blog if you ever need a longer warm up. And we have some recovery, mobility, foam rolling on the blog as well. We got some good yoga moves. And if you're like, I could still add something onto this, we got abs. You wanna do abs? Seven minute abs, 10 minute abs? We got that too. All right, nice, set it down. Find a nice butterfly stretch for me. We're gonna hit those inner thighs. Soles of the feet to touch. Shoulders 
down and back, chest is lifted right here. Slightly just hinge yourself forward. You don't have to be all the way on the ground, it's just a slight hinge. Think about pushing your hips towards the wall behind you as you slightly hinge forward, hit those inner thighs. Yep, there it is, right? Awesome job, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me for this 30-minute strength workout. I hope you loved it. Strength training, we love it, okay? Now, if you can, plant your feet on the ground, pop yourself up, I know. Forward folds right here, shake it out. Let it all hang heavy. Walk over to one side of the body. Can you grab that outside of the foot with the opposite hand? Outside of the foot with the opposite hand. You're gonna feel the lats open up here, the back, the hamstrings. Keep driving your hips towards me. Keep driving your hips towards me. Stretch, hold for three, two, one. Walk back to center, bend at the knees, roll all the way up to top. Big reach up, forward fold, take it back down. Walk over to the other side of the shoe. You're gonna reach to the outside of the shoe with the opposite hand. Open up the lats, the back, open up the obliques, get those hammies. Nice, bring it back to center. Again, bend at the knees, roll up all the way up to the top. Big top, grab one wrist, reach up and over, side body stretch, open it up. Back to center, other side, side body stretch, open it up, back to center. And that is it, you guys, 30 minutes of strength training. You can keep stretching, keep moving, and come back for more workouts at nourishmovelove.com. Have a great day.